Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Finder in Mac OS. So it's very similar functionality to File Explorer in Windows. In today's tutorial, I'm going to give a brief overview of how to use it. So pretty straightforward process, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So a couple of different ways to access Finder. I'm going to actually go down to our system dock, and the little smiley face you want to go hover over, it says Finder. We're going to go ahead and left click on it to open it up. And in here, you can see most common areas that you'd be searching for different files would be over here on the left panel. If you had different folders in here, perhaps there would be different tag colors associated with them you could change it to so you could categorize folders more easily. So again, if we just were to scroll through some of these different options here, so such as applications, you can see different programs that are installed on this computer. You can see different files that are on the desktop by selecting the desktop option, and you can see there are no files on the desktop, hence there is nothing showing up or populating in this list. But if we were to go back to a list that did have entries, such as applications, you can see we have different options up here at the top that we can sort by. So this first little icon, it will say show items as icons in a list, in columns, or in a gallery. So by selecting that, you can go ahead and modify how you want this to be displayed. So we can just go ahead and make this change here just so you guys can visualize these different options. And you can also sort by date modified as well. So you can go sort in ascending or descending order. You can also click inside of there. Again, you can change it back however you want. By default, it should be icons. Other options here too, if you were to scroll over further on the right, was if you were to select a different item on this list. You would click this little button next to it that says share the selected items. So if you were to go ahead and select that, you can go send it through mail, messages, or notes. If you had a specific item you wanted to send details or notes on perhaps. And the next item over, if we were to select it, it says edit tags. So anything that had tags in here, it's a little more advanced, probably not really necessary for most of you guys. So you can go ahead and modify them. And then finally on the right side it says perform tasks with selected items. So if you were to go ahead and select the calendar for example and then click inside that final button, you can go ahead and open up a new folder perhaps for it. You could get info for the application or file, whatever we are currently selecting here. So we would go ahead and select that. You can see we have information regarding this application. Again, this will work very similar for other applications as well as different files and programs, photos you may have on your computer. This is a built-in app, so it's going to be a little bit more specific here, but pretty straightforward. And finally, if you go to the Edit tab, just kind of covering the basics here, up at the top bar, if you were to select Edit, you can go ahead and copy different files or folders or show clipboard items too. You can also show emojis and symbols too, but that should already be there by default. But anyway, if you were to go over to the View tab, again, you can do some of those items that we already were working with in here through the View tab. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. Just a very general brief overview. And if you wanted to search the finder, just in general, you can select this little magnifying glass over here on the far right. So if you went ahead and selected that, you can search and for a specific item on the list. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.